What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Big Ten channel. I'm going to give you a very early projected record for the Purdue Boilermakers here in this video. Before we get to 2024, let's look at back look back at some of the projections from 2023. Here were some of the projections from last season. You can see of course 4 and 8 record for Purdue. Our projection had them at 6 and 6. I actually picked them to go 4 and 8. So I uh, was right on the money this team was not high on them and remember they were coming off of a big 10 championship game but if you just looked at the roster and the schedule again that schedule was really tough last year it was just tough for me to, to see them doing better than four and eight that's what i went with uh, athlon had them at five and seven the over under was at five and a half so um they did you know they underperformed and again if you really looked at this roster the, there's really no reason to predict them to go, especially six and six. But again, our projections are very conservative, and it is based a lot off of the previous season, and that's why that projection was so high. But my prediction, again, was four and eight. Uh, so you look at the schedule again. This is the scale that we use. If it's under 20, over 80, those are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses. 20 to 29, 71 to 80 games where the spread should be by you know a couple touchdowns double digits for sure 30 to 39 61 to 70 games where it should be closer to a touchdown spread and then at 40 to 60 those are your 50 50 games games that could go either way and it's really not about the spreads again i have a tier system that i use uh, to do this projection but with, for, for purdue you do have that one easy game indiana state something they did not have last season they've got one game that they should be able to go out there and take care of business in and it's week one so that's that's really nice you, you get a game go find out about your team then you get a bye week uh, so that that could actually work out for a team like purdue we'll see uh you look at other games where they should be favored and there, there just aren't any there aren't any other games where they're going to be a clear favorite i think wisconsin is a game where they're going to be you know about a touchdown underdog maybe more depending on how good wisconsin is and again how much purdue improves if they do improve uh, but we're going to put that one in the yellow a game again where i think they'll be about a touchdown underdog and then you look at uh, some other games where it's going to be really tough. Notre Dame, I think, you know, they do get that game at home. They get that that bye week early in the season before that game. And so maybe they've got a chance, but I think they're going to be at least a two-touchdown underdog in that game. But, you know, a lot of things going for them. Again, if you're looking for a big upset early in the season, maybe that's it. You know, you get them at home, extra time to prepare. Uh, that's, that's going to be an interesting game there. I think it could wind up being closer than you might expect. And that's why, again, it does come in the orange. Uh, because it is at home and, and just using the tier system that we use. Purdue is two tiers below Notre Dame, but home field advantage puts that one just in the orange, not quite in the red. We do have three games in the red, though. Oregon, Ohio State, Penn State. Really just don't see Purdue having any chance in any of these games. Uh, they should be you know, 20-plus point underdogs in all three of them. And again, it's just going to be tough for them to find a win in any of these games. So now you go to the, the rest of the schedule. Uh, there really aren't any, again, aren't any games where you're going to say they're a clear favorite. Maybe they're favorite against Illinois, but that's on the road. And Nebraska may be their favorite at home. Oregon State, maybe, but again, it's on the road. Uh, Northwestern, pretty much going to be a toss-up since it's at home. Michigan State, Indiana. Again, Purdue might be better than those two teams. They might not. We'll see, but they're on the road. So probably underdogs in just about every one of these games. Not by much, but a little bit of an underdog. Maybe a three or four-point four underdog. And so it's going to be tough again for Purdue to get to a bowl game with only one game where they're going to be favored. And so when you average it all out, you get uh, the same record as last year. Actually, one game better. One game better than last year. Five and seven. So a five and seven projection for Purdue. Um, not quite getting to a bowl game, but a little bit of an improvement. You know, this team could be a lot better than they were last year. But with this schedule, you just might not see that in their record at the end of the day. It's just going to be tough for them to find wins. But again, our projection is 5 and 70. Agree? Do you disagree? Give us your thoughts on Purdue down in the comments below.